Some sexually transmitted diseases are now at an all time high in the U.S. Here to explain the impact is Dr. Daniel Kritzkis, Chief of Infectious Diseases at the Brigham. Dr. Kritzkis, thanks for joining us as always. Well, good afternoon, Erica and Ben. Good to see you. All right, Dr. Kritzkis, just this week, the executive director for a national STD prevention group called the situation out of control. Do you agree? I think it's really been very concerning that we have seen increasing rates of several sexually transmitted infections, including syphilis, chlamydia, and gonorrhea uh, for the last uh, seven to 10 years. And uh, yes, it is a, a very serious situation. Yeah, so Dr. Kritzkis, let's take a closer look at the numbers. As you mentioned, these rates, they have been going up for years. So the number, for example, of syphilis cases spiked some 26%. Uh, HIV cases also increased up 16%. Are we seeing uh, you know, a surge locally, Boston hospitals? Are you seeing these numbers? Well, yeah, certainly, if you look at the data from the Massachusetts Department of Public Health, we know that these numbers are increasing in, in our area as well uh, as they have been nationally. So yes, we are definitely seeing these increases. All right, let's talk about a prevention for the most common STDs. What vaccines are available and what do you recommend? So unfortunately, there aren't any vaccines available for the three STIs that I uh, just mentioned, but there is an important sexually transmitted infection, human papillomavirus or HPV, for which there is a highly effective vaccine, and that has the added benefit of preventing the risk for surgical or penile cancer. And so we definitely want people to get vaccinated for, with HPV. Otherwise, there are barrier prevention methods. There is pre-exposure prophylaxis for preventing HIV. And there was just recently a study presented at the International AIDS meeting on the use of a particular antibiotic, doxycycline, to prevent uh, other uh, um, sexually transmitted infections. Hmm. So when it comes to treatment, some people may be reluctant. So what would you like them to know in terms of help available and, and why not to be afraid or embarrassed to seek treatment? I think the most important thing is that we as healthcare professionals really want to provide uh, non judgmental, uh, compassionate care to people with any infection. And th there's been a move to focus now on sexual health rather than on sexually transmitted disease as, as a way of helping to destigmatize that. And I, I would just encourage people to, to come in and be treated because we, not only can we treat you and prevent you from suffering any long-term consequences, we can also, by treating you, prevent you from potentially transmitting the infection to people you love. All right, Dr. Kritzkis, thanks very much for that. You're very welcome. Thank and you, to our viewers, if you've got questions you'd like us to ask our experts, email them to us at ask at wcvb.com.